So I'm now going to show you how we can use trigonometry to find uh, missing lengths um, in triangles where we've been given a side and an angle. Now, um, if you've seen the video on finding um, missing angles, then you'll know the three ratios uh, circa two, and you'll know we use circa to try and remember them. Now, I've written the three ratios out already, just numbering one, two, and three. And if we're going to find missing lengths, um, then we can rearrange these formulas to do that. So um, what you'll see from number one is given that the sine of an angle is the opposite divided by the um, hypotenuse, I've simply moved from hypotenuse to the left-hand side, so I've got the opposite as the subject of the equation. So providing I know the angle and I've got the hypotenuse, then this calculation will always give me the opposite sign. Same then being true if I've been given the hypotenuse and the cos of the angle, that will get me the adjacent. And if I've got the adjacent side and the angle, I can find the opposite side with that as well. So we'll look at some um, examples. So suppose I have a right angle triangle and my hypotenuse is 12 and my angle is 36 degrees. I don't want to find x and y. So we'll start with x. X is the opposite side, so I must use my formula that involves the opposite. Now you might say, well what's wrong with using formula 3, because formula 3 finds the opposite side as well. But formula 3 um, needs you to know the adjacent side, and at the moment we don't know that. So we have got the hypotenuse and the angle, so we're going to use our first formula. So we're going to write, for H we're going to write 12 times sine 36 to get our opposite side, which I'm calling x, which we often use for something that's unknown. So, just um, let my calculator again and clear that. So, so, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to do 12. So, 12 sine. And then it's 36, so I just put 36. So if you can see that there, I've entered um, 12 sine 36, press the equal sign, and it comes out as 7. 7.05, that down, x equals 7.05, or x equals 7.1 to one decimal place. Um, and that's in the picture. Uh, well, this is not drawn exactly to scale, but it's not far off. And um, that's, that's quite a bit longer than that. So 17 of those are ones. So we'll now try and find y. Now y is the adjacent side. So we'll use h times cos x to get the adjacent side. So 12 cos 36 equals y. So again, we need our calculator to do that. So 12 cos 36 equals and we've got 9.7 there. So 12 cos 36 equals 90. So 9.7, so I'll write that down. 9 equals 9.708. So y equals 9.7 to 1 decimal place. Uh, and that is how we find um, the cosine. So we'll do one final um, example showing you the use of tan. So if I have another triangle, let's put it this way around this time. I'm missing the angle that's there. And then, so I don't want to put the angle in. Let's call that um, 40 degrees. And then, say so we've got 7 there, and we want to find the result of the end. Let's call it that one there, and then we'll that 7. Right, so we've got, um, we're trying to find the adjacent side. The way we can do that is take the hypotenuse, um, sorry, the adjacent side. So we're trying to find the opposite side, should I say? Opposite side. And it's not a bad idea to label these. You can see I was getting a bit muddled there. So opposite and adjacent. So we're trying to find the opposite side, but we've given the adjacent an angle, so it's the tan formula. So the adjacent side is 7, so 7 tan, 40 degrees, will equal the opposite side, which I call x. Just bring the counter out to do that. Okay, so we'll clear that. So, 7 
time forty equals and we've got five point x equals five point eight seven. So we'll round that down to one decimal place. So there's three examples using sine and cosine and tan to find missing lengths in right-angled triangles.